dense, beautiful jungle. Birds of every hue. Ropes of vines interlacing giant trees. Sinuous, slimy rivers. Steaming swamp. Barren desert. Undergrowth. Peering, beady eyes. The scream of death. Black laughter. This is Africa. In the village of the Leopard Men, the professor and his party saw Ifabi, a beautiful native girl, apparently transform herself into a leopard. This girl, known also as the Witch of the Moon, has peculiar golden skin, yellow eyes, and is a mistress of the art of hypnotism. One of the warriors, jealous of the interest Jack has aroused in Ifabi, persuades the witch doctor to cast a spell of death on the boy. The witch doctor fashions an image of Jack, performs a mysterious ceremony, and the warrior, Adako, begins piercing the image slowly with a long needle, working ever toward the heart. In the hut, Jack complains of pains. Gradually, they creep down his right side... The professor is at a loss until he discovers a few small indentations in the boy's arm and leg. Then the cause dawns on him. Witchcraft. But how can it be witchcraft, Father? Who'd want to harm Jack? Is it Ifabi, the girl? No, not this time. But if I'm not mistaken, it's because of her. How do you feel now, Jack? I... I can't... can't move either of my legs. Prison girl. Perhaps he can do something. He followed us here with Ifabi and then vanished. You never know oh, where... Buana, Melini. Melini, him make for devil talk for little Buana. How do you know it, Melini? Warrior, him speak Melini for Uzuri, Wakapoteza, Alikili. Ah, I knew it. One of the warriors is jealous of Jack. At least of the interest if Bobby takes in him. He's got Melini to make a witch charm, and a deadly one at that. But, Father, how could a witch charm do a thing like this? Once more, my dear, this is Africa, and I... Well, I don't know. Where's Ifabi? She's the one to stop this. Guru, call Ifabi. She here. Your great warrior tells Ifabi that a medicine is being worked upon the young white man. What has happened? Let me see him. Oh. His right side and legs are useless. Oh. You see those small marks on his arm? Mm. They follow down the side oh. and legs. It is what you mm. call the figure of clay. And it is not only Melini. There is another with him. Perhaps Adako, the son of the chief. The water that is hot. There's some in that pot on the fire there. It is well. Bring it to me. But first, white man, before Ifabi makes her medicine that will save the little Buana, there is an oath to be made. An oath? Yes. One that the white man will keep this time. Well, if you mean about shooting leopards, I made no promise before, but... Well, I promise it you It has that... nothing to do with the leopard. Oh, can't you do something? This pain's getting beyond what me. What is this, old? Speak, woman. That you will help me, Fabi, in a oh. quest for something that lies many days' march from here. Hmm. Well, you leave me no alternative, I'm afraid. Is this quest against the white man's law? No. It is not in the land over which the great white king rules. Oh, Father, be quick. Jack's face is turning blue. You have my word, Ifabi. Yes, I'll help you. It is well. The water. Here it is. Good. Into this must go fresh, warm blood. Blood? It is necessary to have human blood. Melini's magic is taking the blood from the young Buana, drop by drop. Oh. Well, I, I'm ready if you want to... No, 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 dear. I'm used to this sort of thing. I've seen it done before. Get my scalpels, dear. The blood must be that of a strong man. Here you are, Father. Thanks, dear. I'll go and sit by Jack. Keep the arm moving that is near to the heart. It will delay the spell Melini is working. All right, I'll do my best. This righty, Fabi? Yes. Let the blood flow into the water. So. No. Mm. How much, Fabi? A little more. That will be enough. Here is a leaf. Find it upon the cut. It will stop the flow. Uh, well, what's the next move? Let me look into the eyes of the young Buana. His will must be made strong. Oh. Oh. How much longer is, 
Do as if Bobby says, Jack. Open your eyes. Oh. oh. Y- yes. Look into the eyes of Ifabi, little Buana. For in them lies strength. Yes. Yes, I... You will have the strength that is of my will. You will keep breathing. Your heart will beat despite the needle of death. The curse of the sisters of darkness cannot harm you. You will sleep with the strength of the mountains in your mind. Yes. Yes. Uh. He sleeps. We must be quick. Milini and Adako must be overpowered. The figure of clay immersed in this water. The blood that is in it will give life to the young white man. Right. Come on, Unguru. Hi, Buana. Stay here with Jack Lauren and don't worry. All right, Father. You'll have to take them by surprise. Yes, but they will have no weapons. Milini will permit no spear in his hut. Now, see, a Daco spear stands in the doorway. Yet must the figure of clay be secured before he can destroy it. It's getting light. You'll have to be careful. Milini will be over the fire making his magic. A Daco will have the figure of clay... And his head will be bowed to the needle of death. Well, what will happen to you, if Abby, when Melini sees you've killed his medicine, eh? Melini shall not know. He will think that your magic has sought him out. Deal with them as you please. No one will know. The village sleeps heavily after the ceremony of the night. And I must immerse the clay image in this? Yes, to the neck. And pray to your God, white man. If Abby has done, she goes to keep strength in this sick uh, Come on, Ungoro. This is more to our liking. I pray heaven I don't lose my temper too far and kill one of them. No kill, Buana. No crack em neck so hard. No, Nguru. I'm afraid I'd like to just as much as you, but it just can't be done. Buana, have sick arm. Nguru, catch him warrior, huh? All right. I'll hold a gun on the witch doctor. But for heaven's sake, get that clay image before he can break it up. Nguru, catch him. Guess we'll have to rush the doorway. You all set? Uh-huh. All right. Let's go. Atahanja! So, Melini! Bossy, Buana! Bossy! Melini, ni muy mi. Stay where you are, Melini! Have you got it, Nguru? Aye, Buana. It is here. Give it away. May great spirit to all warrior make for little Buana we will. Thanks, old fellow. I couldn't have said anything better than that. Melini! Alufo! You have broken the white man's law. You have made a killing fetish. What say you? Lord, I am a poor man. And this dog tempted me with salt and rod. If the white commissioner hears of this, he will come with a rope and Malini will fly like a bird into the air. Who is this man? Gina, Laga, Nani. Bana, you know Singizim Zito. Him sleep. Is he dead? Nay, Bana. Him dog growl again. Bye-bye. Uh, well, Nguru... I guess we've done all we can here. Malini, there will be no more killing palavers. Or by the hole through which some Simbo and Samba watches the earth, you die. Yes, Lord. It shall be so. For the white man has great magic. Yes, and when a Daco, the son of the chief, awakens, say to him, the white man knows thy thoughts. Walk with care. The white Lord knows everything. It shall be so. It is well. Come on, Unguru. Let's get back. Aye, Buona. Well, I think that's fixed Malini for a while. When I spoke the name of the chief's son, did you see his eyes roll? Aye. Moon witch make him good and dull for little Buona. I hope so. There's your father standing in the door of the hut. Anything happens to that boy, I'll never forgive myself. All is well, white man. The young Buona sleeps in safety. Well, thank heaven for that. Is that you, Dad? Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you're back. Jack seems to be much better. Good. Hmm. Got some color back in his cheeks, huh? Well, it's normal. Sleeping soundly, too. Yeah, he'll be all right when he wakes. Is your arm painful, Father? My arm? What are you... Oh, that. <laughs> no, just a little stiff, that's all. 
The leaf they probably put on it has probably healed it by now. Well, what happened when you went out? Well, we caught the matter just as Nguru and Afabi said. But I don't think we'll have any more trouble with them. You, you didn't... Kill them? No. No, but I think we've killed the desire to work any more magic in our direction. The chief's son will have an awful headache when he comes to, thanks to Nguru. Well, I still don't understand what happened, Father. Jack was perfectly normal. And then suddenly he had those pains. What caused them? Well, to be perfectly frank with you, my dear, I don't know. There's only one explanation I'd even attempt to offer, and that is concentration of a very strong mind upon a happening they wish to take place. Now, in this case, it was something very evil, but the process can be reversed, and a lot of good worked in the same way. You have not forgotten your promise, white man. Hmm? Oh, no, if I be, I haven't. But I'd like to get a little sleep before we go into the matter. Well, what's that you have there? It is a golden cup. If Abby wishes you to look at it. Oh, what a beautiful goblet. Great Scott. Where'd you get this? Look carefully, white man. Do you know the lettering and the workings on the outside? It's ancient Egyptian workmanship with Roman numerals. Why, this piece is worth a fortune. When you have slept, white man, if Abby will tell you where there are many more like it. But no man has had the courage... To pass through the whispering forest of death to recover them. 